Yep, that's right. You see that mastery level. If you want to level up with me, make sure that you're subscribed, you ring that bell, that way you never miss any of this content, and you're able to do crazy feats like this. What's going on, everyone? For a couple of days now, we've got the Northern Traveler set. This thing is absolutely sick. Now, I've put together a build for you, and I also have answers to a couple of your questions that you have in regards to what's going on with this set. There seems to be some disappearance of abilities, and I know the reason why. I'm Dark Shadow, the YouTube Assassin. Let's have some fun with this Northern Traveler set. All right, everyone, so I put together this build, and it's going to make use of a lot of different functions. Basically, you're just going to be unstoppable. You're going to be a killing machine, and you're going to be unstoppable. One of the things that I want to address, though, a lot of people have been saying that when they put anything on this set, the engravings, they're saying that the minus 50% cooldown duration for Battle Cry of Ares ability on kill is missing and you do see that it is missing but the thing is it is still active that's just a visual glitch for some reason it's not showing up but it is still there and i'll prove it i'll show you in a little bit what we're going to do though we're going to start off with the dane axe 25 percent warrior damage 30 percent damage with heavy bladed weapons 50 percent damage with battle cry of Ares ability and plus 50 percent crit damage now this we're going to make use of the heavy bladed weapon always it goes with the set that's what we're going to be doing next i have the spartan javelin i know kind of weird 24 percent assassin damage 30 percent damage with spears 30 percent melee resistance i added another 50 percent crit damage to this now i'm keeping this here because i want the melee resistance you're going to be invincible and then you're going to see how you're just going to kill everything it's just going to be sick going down to the bighorn bow we're using this for its glitch we're not worried about the hunter damage or the adrenaline on headshot kill. I added 10% crit chance. We want that crit chance. Going over to the helmet. 25% warrior damage. 5% all damage. 50% crit damage. And we added 10% all damage. By the way, how crazy is it that they waited till end game to give us something like this? This set is just phenomenal it, before you even put anything on it. It's freaking crazy. Northern Traveler's Bracers. 25% warrior damage, 50% crit damage, 40% adrenaline per crit. I added 30% melee resistance. Going over to the Gambeson, 25% warrior damage, 30% damage with heavy bladed weapons, which is going to help out because we are using that heavy bladed weapon. 50% crit damage. I added 15% all resistances. Going over to the waist, 25% warrior damage, 5% all damage, 10% crit chance. 30% melee resistance. Yes, we are going to be invincible, you see. Going over to the boots, 25% warrior damage, 5% all damage, 20% elemental resistance, and I add plus 3 duration for Ares Madness ability. Gives us an extra 3 seconds as we're using the Ares Madness ability. Going over to the abilities. Now, again, I have a ridiculous amount of ability points. You do not need to put ability points in every one of these things. The main function that you're going to do is basically going to be the warrior set. So, we're going to look and make sure we have Ares Last Breath or Second Win. Either or, that's what you're going to want. We're going to add Weapons Master, three ranks, because it gives us... 40% uh, warrior damage. It increases your crit chance with all weapons by 10%. So you definitely want to make sure you've got that. Going over to Gear Master, that's another one that you're going to want. Increase armor by 90%, reduce range damage by 10%. There's a 10% chance that an attacking enemy will stagger. We want that. All right. We definitely want the overpower attacks. You only need one, or if you're really into the overpower attacks, go for all three. And then we want the Ares Madness or Battle Cry of Ares. That's what we want. For all of you who are wondering why I have two sets here, why is it upgraded? It's because through the Atlantis DLC, you get certain upgrades, and that's one of them. So 
you're definitely going to want to get that as well. Everything else is pretty basic. You don't need you know, like half of this stuff. We're not even going to use a lot of it. We could use Rush Assassination or a Critical Assassination, Stealth Master, things like that. But again, not going to be so much into that. Same thing with all of the Hunter gear or the Hunter abilities. We're not really going to go deep into the Hunter abilities. So it's just based on your gameplay on how you want it. When we go over to the mastery levels, we definitely want to go into the warrior. We want to come down. You're going to need, let's see, damage and health while in conquest battles, because this thing is also going to be sick in conquest battles. Warrior damage you're definitely going to want. Heavy bladed weapons, obviously, because we're using a heavy bladed weapon. We'll do the crit chance while low health. We'll do the crit damage while low health. 10% damage with overpower abilities, eh, you know, if you've got it, if that's one of the things that you're into. 20% health if you could spare it. Same thing with total armor. Melee resistance, definitely, just to get us to 100%. You don't need anything over 100%. It's kind of wasted. Once it, like, what I have right now is 120%, and it's really not necessary, honestly. Fire damage is a no. Armor penetration, possibly, if you have extra. Damage per enemy engaged, why not? Let's see, damage while low health, sure. Damage dealt restored as health, yes. Health restored with overpower abilities, sure. Damage with warrior abilities, definitely. And then if you have any extra and you want to add it to any of these abilities that you would use, the warrior abilities, definitely by all means go to that. Looking at the hunter, I really don't think there's a lot of things we want with the hunter. I mean, we could use the damage with spears if you want to use the spear, but again, that's just decorative. It's just there for the melee resistance. Crit chance and crit damage, that is definite. You definitely want to have full ranks in both of those. We're not really going to need any of this other stuff here. Elemental buildup, no. Adrenaline, no. Oh, uh, let's see. We'll go further down. Yeah, these are just the abilities for the hunter. You're really not going to need all of that. Going to Assassin. Let's see. Adrenaline on parry. You might want to add that. Uh, crit chance while full health. Yes. Crit damage while full health. Yes. Damage while full health. Yes. Chance to ignore half damage. You could go with that. Elemental resistance. Sure. Because y you don't want to get burned or poisoned. That, that's going to be a serious problem. Adrenaline per hit and adrenaline per crit. I strongly recommend that you get those. Those will be very useful. So, let's see, going further down, health gained per adrenaline spent, not really. Damage on elites and bosses, yes, especially if you're going to be doing conquest battles. And, let's see, going further down, 10% cooldown duration for all abilities, that's a definite. And then, if you're using any of these other abilities, you might want to add a couple of ranks to it. So, that would be all that, that would be the ability point of it. And we're going to look at what we've got here. So warrior damage, we have plus 235%. That's just sick. Going down. Oh, and also here are the unique modifiers. Just to show you, even though we don't have the minus 50% cooldown duration for Battle Cry of Ares ability on kill uh, that you can see, again, it's a visual glitch. And the unique modifier is there. Now... Some people are saying that they're not seeing it, it's not working. What happens is that you have to actually kill people in order for this ability to like build up. So usually I'll just knock out two guys and that'll come right back up. I got my Battle Cry of Ares ability right back. So you definitely want to pay attention to that and I'll show you. See, going further down, we're not worried about these damage modifiers. These are all nice, but you know, we're not doing anything specific with them. Heavy bladed weapons, we got plus 90%, which is going to be fantastic. Critical hit chance, 40%. Eh, I could bump those numbers up. Critical hit damage, 375%. That's sick. Let's see, hit chance and hit damage while full health, 50 and 425 respectively. And the same for low health, crit chance and crit damage, 50 and 425%. Those are really big. So going down, we're not really worried about the elemental modifiers. Defensive modifiers, armor bonus is 150%. Melee resistance, 120%. 20% of that is wasted. So as long as you've got 100, I know some people who even do 90 and, and 
they pretty much have an impossible time being hit. But we're looking down, range resistance, that kind of stinks, elemental resistance, but we're really not going to be doing a lot with that. And then going to utilities, as you can see, adrenaline per critical hit 80%, adrenaline on assassination kill 50 adrenaline on headshot kill 100%, 2020 with the uh, bow charging and movement while crouching. So those are our modifiers. So what we're going to do is we are at my favorite fortress, Tratch's Fort, and we're going to come in here and we're going to start some trouble. We're going to make sure everybody sees us and everybody comes for us because that's fun. You know what? I'll even be nice to them. I'll even light their brazier for them. Attack! Yes, attack. Everybody attack. There we go. Oh, see, I'm being hit and nothing's happening. All right, so now the fun begins. We're going to have all these guys all around here. And you know what? Let's just battle cry. So we're doing our damage. We're knocking them out. We have the Ares Madness, which means that we've got three extra seconds of it. Okay, so now I'm back. So now you see that it's not there. Okay, there's one boss, and you see it's halfway restored. There we go. I've got it back. And here we go. I'm back doing this thing. That's all it took. That's all it takes. We're just going to keep smacking these guys around. Once we lose the ability, which we just did, just have to take out two guys. There it is. And we're back. You are just unstoppable at this point. The only thing that can stop you is you run out of enemies. That's it. Look at these guys. They don't even see what's going on. Okay, so once again. There's one. And two. And it's back. And we just continue like that. This thing, you just decimate everyone decimated this whole fortress quicker than I think I've ever done it which is absolutely amazing that's all it took it just took a couple of quick swipes and that was it so I know a lot of people like I said they're saying that they don't have the ability it's there definitely and even if you're not using that ability that I have the Ares Madness which gives you that like lightsaber lance you can just do it with the regular battle cry of Ares and it still works all this, all this power, all this energy, it still happens. I'll even show you a conquest battle right now so you can see how it looks on the battlefield.
All right, everyone. So that's the build. It was a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments below, like, what would you do to tweak it? What would you have? Would you even bother with the uh, melee resistance or would you go with something else? I know a lot of people would probably throw extra hit chance and crit chance just to just beef it up. But what else would you add to it? I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below. Also, remember, you still have that ability, even though it doesn't show up on the unit itself. You still have it. It's just a visual glitch. Anyway, other than that, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And until the next one, take care.